We're going to conduct an electrofishing survey this morning. That's one of the main ways we monitor fish populations, specifically black bass and prey species. And uh, as we shock along, they dip net all the target species, place them in a live well. When we're done with the uh, station, they'll take a length to take a weight and release the fish back into the water unharmed. One thing we always like to do is keep the big picture in mind. And with that, you can look to see what things uh, regular procedures may not answer. One of the most significant things that we've done here in recent years are a couple of uh, bass tournament related projects. Uh, one was looking at biological impacts on fish populations. The other was actually looking at economic impacts. The, the big question for us was, is there enough tournament related angling effort and catch to significantly affect the bass go. population in a negative way? You know, it was a team effort, you know, through Texas Parks and Wildlife Inland Fisheries, but they came out here and tagged 6,500 adult largemouth bass in just a pretty short period of time. We tracked those tagged fish through one year to determine what percent of the overall bass population are caught, handled, and taken to weigh in by tournament anglers. 55 pounds and 12 ounces. And what we found there was even though we have high tournament related effort, that percentage was very low. It was 6%. So bottom line from that study that overall population level impacts of bass tournaments are relatively low. We followed the biological survey up uh, with an economic study. We queried approximately 3,000 total anglers, both non-tournament and tournament anglers, to try to decipher exactly what proportion of the total annual economic impact that was related to the Sam Rayburn Recreational Fishery okay. was attributed to tournament anglers. Yeah, this is the Bassmaster Central Invitational. As part of that economic impact analysis, we figured out that about $30 million is through tournaments. You know, when you combine both the uh, biological and economic tournament related studies together, that really tells us that bass tournaments will have huge implications when we go to look to manage the bass populations from here throughout the future. <laughs>